Hello beautiful family in Jesus Christ. I hope you are all well. Um, it's Stephen here. Uh, we are on the 5th of March in the year 2022. Yep, yeah, my name's Stephen. And if you're new to this channel, I am a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it's the only way anybody can be saved. And it's the number one only way anybody's going to enter into heaven for eternity. So, let me tell you, um, the Bible, which is the holy word of God, tells us that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God, me included. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who died on that cross for our sins, for our lifetime of sin, when you believe. And he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you shall confess Jesus as Lord with your mouth, confess Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's it, salvation. Um, there's nothing else you need to do apart from receive the free gift by faith. That's it. Um, be humble enough to say and recognize, of course I have sinned. We've all sinned. We've all broken God's commandments. We've all lied. That's one thing that everybody's done. Most people have stolen, so we've all broken God's commandments. So be humble enough to recognise, you know, yes, of course I have sinned. And then believe on Jesus who died on the cross for all our sins, our lifetime of sin. Um, he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day. Jesus, the Son of God, died on that cross to take our place. For all our wrongdoing and sin that we have done against God. And all it takes, like I say, is to, is to believe. That's it. For by God's grace are we saved through our faith in Jesus. And it's not of ourselves. It is the free gift of God. Not by our works, lest any man should boast. So if you haven't believed, Please believe on Jesus Christ because he's about to come at any moment and then the great tribulation which is in the Bible which is seven years of hell on earth will begin. The apocalypse will begin. The great tribulation and you don't want to be here for what is coming upon this world because millions and millions of people are going to die according to the word of God and we are in the final moments of the end we can clearly see that um, things are not right there's wars and rumors of wars and uh, we can see clearly that all chaos and war and famine and death are right on the doorstep the apocalypse is right on the doorstep which means because it's a pre-tribulation rapture it means that Jesus will come and take us up into heaven in the rapture. All who have ever believed on him in a twinkling of the eye and will put on immortal bodies like Jesus' own and will go up. So please believe if you haven't on Jesus. He loves you. Just make that choice to accept him as Lord and Saviour. All right, guys. Um, so really, I've come on here today. Um to ask you guys uh, if you would pray for me and Loretta uh, because tomorrow uh, I'm going a bit further afield and it's going to Sheffield tomorrow I have been there on my own and I've been there with Philip and Nicole and and Mark um, uh, I have actually messaged Nicole I'm, I'm in communication with Nicole who who uh, Nicole and Mark were the ones who actually bought the speak for us. I don't know what's wrong with this camera, but I keep trying with this camera and, it, and it, I don't
don't know what it's doing. It keeps going uh, light and then dark. And, and well, let me stick this light on. Um, so I love you all, guys. Um, I, I've just come out of a, an attack this morning. Um, the, the devil was attacking me all morning. Uh, my health and my mind. And um, it was a spirit, spiritual attack. But um, I persevered and I, I believed the word of the Lord, which says that um, God is faithful and he will bring us out of every evil work, every evil work. And I know because I've been through that many and he's always delivered me and he'll deliver you as well. Um, if you if you if you are born again, if you have believed the gospel um well, there's a, there's a spiritual battle going on, isn't there? Satan is attacking us. and um, But we have all power over him. And um, you who are born again will know that we're in a spiritual battle. We're, we are, uh, really are. Satan is attacking the church because he knows that he, he is going to start the the war and all the rest of it the the beginning the revealing of the antichrist satan is going to do that so if he we can see it surfacing now and um so we know that it's a pre-tribulation rapture and that before the revealing of the antichrist we will be removed up into heaven and um, there's so much talk in the in the Muslim faith and in the Jewish faith of uh, their Messiah. You know that some some of them are saying he's here already. Um, so it's just a matter of time. Um, any second now, I believe, and we'll be gone. Um, remember to write some left behind letters for people who would get into your house. Um, because uh, we will be taken up. The Son of Man cometh at an hour that you think not. Um, but he did say that when you see all these things happening, which we're watching around the world now, we know that he's, he's, he, Jesus said, you know that my coming is near. So stay watching, guys, because um, many people saying this date and that date and um, uh, I just believe it won't be on any any one of the dates that people think that he's coming uh, um, I th I'm sure there's a scripture that says well it's Jesus saying the son of man cometh at an hour when men think not or ye think not something like that so um, uh, I'd you know these these potential dates for Jesus to return. Um, they can be encouraging, but don't set your heart on any particular date because you'll just get disappointed if when it doesn't happen. If it doesn't happen, um, anyway, all I'm asking is uh, tomorrow we're going to this city Sheffield, and we just would like your prayers, please. Um, prayers for protection. Prayers that the gospel will have free course through both me and Loretta, and that we will be bold and courageous to proclaim the truth, and that we would be delivered from wicked and evil men, because not everybody has faith. Um, whatever comes into your mind, please pray for us. Um, because, uh, I, I, I've come under attack. It's it's almost on a daily basis. It is. It's on a daily basis. The devil and his lies. If he can convince us of his lies, then then he's got foothold. Um, if he can convince you that he has the right to attack you, um, when he doesn't. He has absolutely no rights whatsoever. Um, I don't know. The, the Lord, 
the Lord sometimes allows him to attack us, but God causes all things to work together for good for those that love God who are the called according to his purpose. And we are the called out of this world, called to be kings and priests to our God forever and ever, to inherit paradise, to eat from the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God. It's going to be beautiful, guys. I know many of you have been, uh, are afflicted, like me, and uh, some of you a lot worse. Um, well, um, just remember to pray. There's uh, power in prayer. And ask others to pray for you as well. And um, if anybody's got any prayer requests, you know, urgent stuff, leave it in the comment section. and People see it. And faithful pre people will pray for you. Um, you can email us, me as well. I'll leave that in the description box. But um, I, I, I did promise you guys that I would uh, show my face each day and talk to you. Um, I'm gonna. I'm completely transparent, and uh, I cannot utter a word of lie. Um, so I um, just thank thank God for you all, and thank you for your prayers, and thank you for your support, you who have supported us. And um, I'll tell you the truth. I I I'm struggling. I find most days a struggle, and I know it's a fight that we're in, and we must put on the whole armor of God and take our authority in Jesus Christ. Because God, every one of us are children of God. And God sees us through the righteousness of Jesus Christ. We are purchased with Jesus' blood shed for us on the cross for all our sins. And it's past, present and future sins. Um, he did indeed rise again from the dead. And with the heart man believes and is justified. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. And shall believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved. And I wouldn't hesitate if you're on the fence. I would just lay hold of that salvation. And eternal security in Jesus Christ. Make sure you know you're going to heaven. All it takes is for you to believe truly the gospel and call upon Jesus. I said, come into my life. So, Lord Jesus, I said, back, back in 92, I think it was, in, in London, um, I was baptised in Holy Spirit, but because of persecution, severe, um, I'm not going to say from who, but lots of persecution, um, nobody nurturing me up in the faith as a new young born again believer. I soon went went astray and and I, I sought refuge in alcohol and drugs because um, I didn't like this world. I've I've never liked this world. And when I say the world, I don't mean the creation of God, which is absolutely beautiful. What I mean is um, this world system, which um, sometimes to me is, is, is very unfair. It's very unfair that um, w one person can sit in first class um, on the train with all those luxuries and then the pe poorer people have to go on the other side. Just things like that. It's... Um, this world favours rich people. If you've got money, then they will welcome you. <laughs> and if you haven't, um, if they're nice people, they'll welcome you. But generally speaking, the money, uh, the world um, accepts those with money. The world system. But all that's going to change because uh, the e economy is going to be... Uh, obliterated the economy and that's all 
by design uh, so is the wars um, everything um, these wicked elites have planned these things for a long time and um, what happening uh, right guys I'll get off a wa waffle on in case I say something that I, I shouldn't or and I ended up having to do the video again because this is already my second attempt <laughs> um, I will just uh, I'll just do a quick psalm, a very short psalm, I will recite it. Um, Help, Lord, for the godly man seizeth, for the faithful fail from among the children of men. They speak vanity, every one with his neighbour. With flattering lips and a double heart do they speak. The Lord shall cut off all flattering lips. And the tongue that speaketh proud things, who have said, With our tongue will we prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us? For the oppression of the poor, for the sighing of the needy, now will I arise, saith the Lord, I will set him in safety from him that puffeth at him. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver refined in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation for ever. The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted. Psalm 12, I think it's eight verses. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to learn a new psalm, I don't know which one yet, but um, I'm so busy um, with this device, um, I'm contacting so many people, um, and, I, and I, I, like, I like contacting you all on WhatsApp and Telegram or whatever, but um, if I don't get back to your message straight away, um, just keep in mind that I... You know, I've got quite a few messages, but I will get back to every email. Um, it might take me, you know, a day or two, but I'll get back to you. So, um, if it's urgent, put it in the title, Urgent, and I'll, I'll read it straight away. Um, all right, guys, I love you. Yeah, just please pray for us tomorrow. Um, and then Monday, we're going to go somewhere as well. So, uh, we'll see. Anyway, we're definitely doing two days in a row now with, while the weather's good because uh, today was not good. It was raining really heavy this morning, um, really windy. Um, so, we couldn't do today. It would have been ideal Saturday when there's more people, but um, Sunday and Monday will be fine. So, God bless you all, guys. Um, Greater is Jesus Christ who is in you than the devil that is in this world. And you can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens you. And I pray that he guides you and heals you and strengthens your hearts. In the name of Jesus, blesses you keeps you and makes his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his beautiful countenance upon you and give you his peace in Jesus name and deliver you and strengthen you and heal you amen all right guys I love you very much um oh you'll see me I might do do a video in the morning as well and um, just to show you get me getting on the train like I usually do okay I love you all thank you um, yeah no that's it <laughs> sorry okay I love you bye bye guys be blessed be blessed God can bring us he will bring us out of every evil work and he will preserve us unto his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory for ever and ever. Even so. Amen.
Bye guys. I love you.